uh, good morning and welcome back this video is a comparison about normal and locked up torque converters so you might all be knowing about torque converters what are the difference between the normal torque converter and a locked up torque converter so the torque converters are used in semi automatic vehicles or automatic vehicles so the advantage of the torque converter is that it's a fluid coupling and it doesn't have a mechanical linkage between the engine and the gearbox there is no mechanical linkage as such we have in a clutch mechanism because this is only hydraulically linked it's a fluid coupling so let's see how a normal torque converter differs from a locked up torque converter so a normal torque converter is a hydraulic coupling there is no mechanical linkage but a locked up torque converter has a mechanical linkage that means there is no fluid coupling at the point of locked up so it's a mechanical connection or a mechanical uh, torque transfer from the engine towards the gearbox now let's see how it actually happens so uh, this is a normal torque converter side uh, cut section view and this is a another cut section view of uh, a torque converter so in a torque converter we normally have uh, the impellers the turbine and the stator as i told it's a closed unit so the impeller is a part of the casing the turbine is floating inside the torque converter itself and it is connected through an output shaft towards the gearbox so there is no mechanical linkage between the turbine and any other component inside the torque converter but the torque converter casing has a mechanical linkage with the flywheel of the engine so as the flywheel rotates at the same speed and the same rpm the torque converter also rotates the torque converter casing also rotates so as this impeller are connected towards the casing we have fluid inside uh, this casing what happens is that the fluid is pumped outside through this casing this impeller it works like a centrifugal pump and this fluid comes like this and hit the turbine and result in the turbine to rotate so this fluid is actually pressurizing or helping the turbine to get its drive to rotate and that drive from the turbine is being transferred through the output shaft towards the gearbox that means the engine torque or the engine rpm is not directly reflecting towards the gearbox because we don't have a takeaway unit which is mechanically linked with the engine because it's only the fluid power which is doing the duty of taking away the power so we have impelling losses will be having heat generation because of uh, the losses happening inside the torque converter because of this slippage that's how a normal torque converter actually works so there is no mechanical linkage it's only a fluid linked unit but in a locked up torque converter if you see this is the side view this is uh, the normal torque converter there is no mechanical uh, linkage really happening but in a locked up torque converter we have a lock up clutch which will be coming between the casing and the turbine so at cruising speeds or at very high speeds still we will be having this slippage which result in the low efficiency of uh, our machine or our vehicle because of these impelling losses and heat generation to avoid that at cruising speed or at high speed in locked up torque converters we have a lock up clutch so what this clutch is doing is that it locks up the casing with the turbine so now the hydraulic linkage is not doing the duty the mechanical linkage is doing the duty because the flywheel will be rotating at the engine speed the casing will be rotating at the engine speed as now the casing is linked with the turbine with this lock up clutch our turbine will be also rotating in the cruising uh, at the uh, engine speed at high speed acceleration time and not the fluid coupling is doing the duty so that's uh, the difference between a normal torque converter and a locked up torque converter so high efficiency can be created with a locked up uh, torque converter during the operation the impelling losses can be reduced the heat generation can be avoided during the use of a locked up torque converter but lock up is only happening at high speeds and uh, cruising speeds and while low speed or acceleration is happening normally this lockup clutch will go back and result in the normal working but if this lockup is not going back it just work like a normal clutch unit it just work like a mechanical bonding between the engine and the gearbox 
and you might be also knowing the advantages of having a normal top converter which does not have this lockup. If you don't have, uh, when the lockup is not there, the load from the gearbox or the rear tires won't be directly getting back towards the engine. That means it will not be slowing down the engine which result in uh, good quality of maintenance of the engine because the load from the rear tires will not be acting directly towards our flywheel and thereby will not be uh, stopping the engine. So that's why uh, normal torque converters are used and the small disadvantage of normal torque converters or slippage uh, while cruising speed or high speed which avoids or reduces the efficiency can be uh, taken back or that factor can be avoided by making a mechanical bonding at that point of time of cruising speed with the help of a locked up uh, clutch unit coming in between the system. So that's the normal difference uh, between a locked up torque converter and a normal torque converter. So here we'll be having the lock up uh, unit coming in, in a lock up clutch uh, unit coming in a locked up torque converter. So it comes in contact with uh, the casing over here which results in the lock up and that is supported by a valve, a lock up valve and that is actually doing the duty of pressurizing this lock up clutch towards the casing. So I believe you got the idea between the difference of a normal uh, operation of a torque converter and the operation of a locked up torque converter. So if you like this video, please click the like button or do drop, a, drop a comment to motivate us or you can subscribe to us by clicking the subscribe button for daily technical video updates. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great learning.